wonder what it was like to catch a rainbow? Well, here's a way you can do it. You know red, blue, and yellow are called primary colors. Just by mixing these colors, you can get all the colors of the rainbow. Here's what you'll need. Red, blue, and yellow food coloring. One cup of milk and some dish soap along with a shallow bowl. Here's what we have to do. Pour one cup of milk into the bowl. Add three drops of red food coloring. Along the way, add three blue, one third of the bowl. Along the way, one third down, you add three drops of yellow. Center of the bowl, you'll use your dish soap. Look at what you see, and you can record it. What happened? The dish soap does not mix with the milk. Instead, it floats on top and spreads over the surface. As it spreads, it grabs the food color we dropped in into it. Where the color meets, they combine to form new colors. As you can see, red and yellow forms orange, red and blue, purple, and blue and yellow will form green. And guess what we just did? We caught a rainbow. This experiment deals with the cornstarch suspension. When we talk about states of matter, we usually talk about the three types. Solid, like a rock, liquid, like water, and gas, like the air we breathe. A mixture of cornstarch and water makes what is known as a suspension. When you squeeze a cornstarch suspension, it really feels like a solid because its molecules line up but it looks like a liquid and acts like a liquid when no one is pressing on it because the molecules relax. This is another state of matter called a suspension. It can act like a liquid or when pressed like a solid. This is what you'll need to do the cornstarch suspension. One cup of cornstarch, a bowl, a half a cup of water, a spoon, a pie plate, and food coloring. Let's start our experiment. Empty the cornstarch into a large bowl. Stir while you're adding water slowly into the bowl. You'll need the consistency of pancake batter. Don't add all of the water at once. It's better to add less than more. Add a few drops of food coloring. Stick your hand in the mixture and see what it feels like. It's an odd kind of feeling. It feels like between a liquid and a solid. Pour water in a pie plate. Smack the water with your hand and record what happens. My hand goes right through it. And as we said, water is, um, is matter, but liquid matter. I'm going to pour off the water I emptied the pie plate and I'm going to pour the cornstarch mixture into the pie plate. Now I'm going to pour I'm going to smack this one with my hand, and I'm going to see what the difference is. 
It looks like liquid, but when I smack it with my hand, it feels like a solid. So there we go. This was the cornstarch suspension experiment.